guess what time it is? It's time for shout outs. That's right. It's time for shout outs. We only have a few people to welcome, and then I have a few things I'd like to do, say announcements. I know, I'm a little confused right now. It's very late. Anyway, frugal homesteading. Welcome to the neighborhood. Sierra Rally. Welcome to the neighborhood. And if I said your names wrong, please correct me and I will fix them next week. Lucy Owl, shout out to you, my dear. We need to get Lucy Owl's channel growing, guys. She needs some new subscribers. So let's get over there, check out some of her content, give her some thumbs up. And if you like what you see, hit that little red subscribe button and become a member of the Lucy Owl family. Yep, go check her out. Margaret Clevenger, welcome back. We've missed you. I hope all is well with you. Angela Jennison, same as same to you as well. Welcome back. We missed you as well and hope all is well with you. Got a few thoughts and prayers as always. Thoughts and prayers for the lone wolf. Thoughts and prayers for my mother right now. She's going through a very rough time with everything that's going on. Thoughts and prayers for everybody in the community that is fighting illnesses um, of any sort. Have family members that are fighting illnesses of any sort. You never really know how difficult it is until it hits home. And you are all in our thoughts and prayers. Destiny Swan, thoughts and prayers needed for some family struggles and praying her husband will be home by November. Um, she'll find out on March 31st. She finds out tomorrow. So please, everybody, thoughts and prayers that her husband will be home by November. Terry Johnson, thoughts and prayers for her dog, Chrissy. She also calls him Cowley because he's part chow and part lab, I think. Uh, or Collie. That's it. She adopted him at five months old. He's now 15 and a half years old. And she just found out that he has bladder cancer. So thoughts and prayers go out to Chrissy. Terry Johnson's dog and to Terry Johnson and her family. Liza's family vlogs is still having bladder issues and pains. Thoughts and prayers go out to you as well. And I'm sorry, but thoughts and prayers go out to my Daryl Dixon. We don't know his status at this point. Um, if you notice at, at home, he's got some blood on his head and um, Kevin is trying to doctor him up as best as he can. I don't know what his status is at this point, so if everybody could please keep Daryl Dixon in your thoughts and prayers and um, hope that Kevin is being a good doctor to my man. Yeah. Anyway, it's time for a neighborhood community credit roll. Take it away, Kevin. Okay, so last week's question uh, was about Critters 2 from 1988. And why I picked Critters 2 is because it was supposed to be at Easter time. So the question was, uh, how did Lynn Shay get into this movie? And uh, some people have pointed out that she was in the first movie as well, so she's just reprising her role. However, how did she get into that movie? Do you know Real Life Cat that you almost went over? Well, it turns out that her older brother uh, was one of the people who started the, the New Line Cinemas that made the movie. 
and apparently it become a trademark of the um, as, uh, new line to have Lin Shay in all the movies that made there. <laughs> so that's the answer to that. My cat is behaving strangely and we can't see very well because of the camera angle. Those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. And uh, today's question has, I had a hard time finding a, uh, a, a horror film about um, April Fool's Day that I haven't beaten to death because I know I've asked questions about the 1985 or 87 horror film April Fool's Day, it was one of my favorites, and the remake of 2008, which was not very good. But I found uh, a movie called uh, this uh, called The Spring or Spring. What's called Spring, and it's a love story horror film that came out of 2014. And uh, so I'll use that since it's spring. So um, the question is, uh, there is a um, a filming technique used in this movie that may be a little bit overused, but it was one of the, the first movies that that utilized it a great deal and um, the uh, they suddenly switched using this technique uh, just before filming after they've already storyboarded the whole movie uh, because they loved uh, the technique what was that technique okay so there is my question this is my crazy cat who almost went over over the chair and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all. I got two hands this week. I keep a heart. We love you all very, very much. Be sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. Thumbs up. And we, we will see you all.